Hello and welcome to Nepal Traveler. Today we are at the Solti Kathmandu with Mr. Rishi Chopra, the general manager of the hotel. We are in discussion, we'll be talking with him. He'll share some of his ideas about tourism, his journey in tourism and his plans, his, uh, the opportunities, the challenges he sees in Nepal with the Solti Kathmandu. Welcome to our show, sir. And maybe to start with, you could tell us a little bit about yourself and your journey in tourism. Good morning. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. And uh, I'm very excited to share with you uh, the journey that I've gone through in this industry, as well as I want to talk to you about Solti, our vision, our value and the journey and the experiences we are curating from our guests. I've been very uh, privileged to lead a very dedicated team of professionals at the Solti. Here, what we strive to do is to embody the Nepalese culture and warmth and uh, blend it with uh, the luxury experiences uh, that we want to offer to our guests. So we want to have a perfect balance between the luxury and the Nepalese authenticity. And uh, while we do this, we also want to ensure that we add a lot of value to the community that we work in. And uh, it's, well, it's over 30 years that I've been in the industry. I started off with uh, Hotelila Ventures, where I worked for about 12 years. Then I was general manager for Redison Hotels in India, Marriott International India, and Taj Hotels. Um, as I would like to divide my experience into three different pillars or three different uh, decades, I would say 30 years has been divided into three different parts. So the first 10 years, I would say that there was a lot of learning in terms of uh, uh, operational competency, where the focus was on being uh, competent operationally, a lot of operation excellence. So the focus on operation excellence, delivering uh, zero defect service to the guest. Uh, the second second decade, uh, things changed, things evolved. A lot of new competition came in, and the focus turned towards customer experiences. We started looking more towards personalizing experiences, creating more experiences for our guests. And the third decade, the thirty years, as I say, the third, the last decade would, was more about technology. So we use technology as an enabler to create uh, operation excellence, uh, customer services. And when I move on to the fourth decade that starts now at the Solti, I see sustainability as another major uh, focus for all of us. So also on the, you were talking about the three decades, the hospitality perhaps has been impacted the most by the COVID the lockdown, the global lockdown. How do you see the hospitality cha uh, industry changed or impacted after COVID? Because many people say it's almost a whole new challenge. It's a whole new world now. Uh, okay, the advantage we had uh, being in the industry for 30 years, well, we have seen something similar in 2006 with the recession. Uh, and then we also saw something similar in 2001 with the WTC. So I think uh, we we face we have been facing challenges, I'll call hurdles, uh, periodically in our industry. But the global pandemic was the biggest one that I faced during my career. Uh, definitely, it was a very tough phase for all of us. But I think there's a lot of learning in this phase. The industry did uh, face a very big, uh, I would say, a financial crisis. I would say. Uh, uh, there were there were a lot of people who lost their job. Uh, people were trying to just uh, you know survive during this phase. But what it taught us was to innovate our offerings and to retain talent and to retain people. And what we did was we looked at alternate avenues or alternate uh, means of still being in business: uh, takeaway services, food delivery, uh, getting the comfort of a hotel to your home. Uh, we started personalizing laundry services for the guests, which was sanitation became, social distancing became a big norm. I still remember after WDC, we had security, which became a very, very big uh, issue. mandatory issue for every hotel. You know, the screening, the luggage screening, everything came into the hotel. Before that, you could just walk into the hotel without being stopped or screened. So pandemic taught us the importance of hygiene and social distancing. So I think, yes, it was one of the toughest phases. It came with a lot of hard work, a lot of uh, patience, 
but then we when we came out of it i think we have got a great learning we we become stronger we become more resilient we have we are very quick to change and uh, we we learn we uh, change and we have back to where we were and today i think the industry is is looking up with everything new and there's always uh, different things to do the different way so now that you've joined the solty you're bringing in three decades plus experience nepal is at a challenging moment post covid we've also had little economic problems uh, domestically what do you see as the challenges and opportunities for you now as the gm of this property okay uh, well i think every hotel has their own challenges um we are the solty uh, if i was to list down my top three or four challenges the biggest challenge is to strike a perfect balance between luxury experiences and minimizing the impact on the environment you know uh, sustainable practices takes a lot of effort and team alignment and i think it's very important today that we are conscious of what we do the second biggest challenge that i see that everyone across the globe uh, faces in our industry is uh, it was always there before but after the pandemic it has uh, been one of the major uh, challenges that we all list on our priority list is to retain train and uh, grow, grow grow talent you know recruit train retain talent uh, which the attrition is all time high uh, as the new properties opening in during covid a lot of people looked at other opportunities to work Uh, they moved out of hotel industry, went in for for trades which could adapt to your skills, and so I think uh, getting the good talent and retaining talent is the biggest challenge. So at Solty, we try to be um, a preferred hotel for our associates. We invest in employee care, we invest in employee training, and we give them a career path. We are not giving them a job, but we are when they join, we we do a dashboard for them. and we do a career mapping for each of the individuals uh, so that's that's the second thing the third thing is because which is dovetail to the first thing is a uh, consistent service you know today the the traveler is more demanding uh, the needs are different so we need to ensure that we could offer them the best of services all times and this needs uh, an eye for detail it needs consistently you need to deliver beyond expectation and it comes with passion to work and to get the right talent who has the passion to deliver this is still a big challenge we might train them we might groom them the way we want but to get the right person, person. to do this job there are many but to get all to do this job is still a challenge for the best uh, the fourth one which has been a challenge uh, with the industry would be uh, external environment like we said uh, financial recession uh, uh, global pandemic health conditions or uh, outbreaks this impact industry in a very very uh, uh, different way and we need to be geared up uh, to face these challenges as i said most of the challenges are demanding for us but i think uh, they give us a lot of learning we we whatever uh, we learn we implement i think when we look back it enriches the hotel and all the stakeholders there's always a benefit that comes out of it which is you become more resilient and you become more uh, confident of facing these challenges so also on the challenge of uh, the hotel industry mainly in kathmandu as well as in nepal do you find that uh, you know with the number of new hotels coming on international chains uh, boutique hotels what kind of challenges does that pose to the industry as a hotel industry well nepal has made some significant strides in terms of promoting their uh, beautiful landscape and uh, uh, their culture tourism to global travel uh, but yes uh, when we look at uh, the challenges are still there um, when i look at uh, nepal i think infrastructure is one of the biggest uh, uh, area that needs uh, some attention 
Uh, they're beautiful countrysides, they're beautiful destinations uh, that we need to promote. Uh, but we need better infrastructure for a traveler to experience the scenic beauty that Nepal has to offer. Also, I feel with the new hotels opening up, um, I would say it will complement uh, the old hotels. So this is something that they, we need, we as all hotels need to understand that Nepal is a very rich heritage. You know, and there's a modernization happening. So we as hoteliers need to blend this rich culture heritage in Nepal with Brilliant. the modernization and this striking this perfect balance would be our success story. And uh, we see the competition as something that uh, will enhance the cus customer offerings. Uh, I always believe in one thing, you know, that if you are not the best, someone will better you. So with all these hotels coming in, it's time that we all better ourselves. For hotels, uh, the other boon has been, to some extent, the, the growth of domestic tourism. A lot of Nepalese are also traveling. I mean, how do you see that uh, in terms of the, the hotels, especially those outside Kathmandu? They seem to witness quite a good, decent amount of domestic tourists. Okay, very interesting question. And, and I would be very happy to answer in a, in a salty way. Uh, we have been the front, front runners in opening hotels in other cities in Nepal. And recently, we have launched our loyalty program where they earn and they could redeem points at any of our hotels in Nepal. So we are the very first uh, domestic group to cater to uh, domestic clientele. And we see that the domestic tourism in Nepal is increasing. More and more people like to take shorter breaks. And that's why we are adding footprints in, in major cities in Nepal. So we have a hotel in Chitwan, we have a hotel in Nepal Ganj, we have in Janakpur, we have some more new footprints opening up. So I think, yes, Nepal has its own market. The domestic tourism is on an increase and that's why we as a Sulti are already working in attracting um, our local people to come and experience our hotels in other cities. The loyalty program called the Heritage Club. Uh, you can enroll for it uh, Anytime you want, you earn and you can redeem points in any of our hotels on food and beverage or rooms. So uh, we saw this coming. We saw the domestic tourism in increase, especially after the pandemic. And, uh, and as I said, the Nepal has got some excellent uh, destinations. Nepal offers wellness retreats, offers adventure tourism, offers some bespoke travel experiences, which are still unexplored by the international tourists. And once we have the domestic tourism within these places, we are sure it will travel to the international tourism through digital media. And hmm. that's the time that we will have our international partners also stepping into these destinations. So on a lighter note, what inspired you to join the hospitality or tourism industry? I mean, looking back at your career, you've had three decades. And what was it that told you, no, I think I want to be a hotelier? Would you like to share something like that? Um, as a little child, I always wanted to do things differently. Um, and uh, every time I went for a function to hotel, I'll be very honest, the glamour attracted me. When I would see these managers, I would see beautiful ladies greeting you, wishing you, attending to you. It, it really got me interested in this, this industry. And uh, when I look back, I think I made the best deci decision to be here. Uh, it's one of the uh, best industries you can in. You are connecting with people uh, at, a, at a very genuine level. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a genuine care, warm uh, respect you offer. And you learn, you learn everything. You meet people from different walks of life. There's so much learning. And uh, I think initially it was the glamour that got me into this. But I think when I started working with the industry, it was more to do with understanding diverse cultures, traveling to different cities, understanding different cuisines, experiencing them. So it was growing me, uh, it, was a, it was a growth, yes. overall growth for me. And I think no other industry could offer me this. So I think I'm very lucky to be here. And uh, I, I feel quite happy that I... I also, I any very memorable experience perhaps with a celebrity or something that happened uh, during your career that you like to look back on 
another good thing about the industry is uh, you have your celebrity moments. Uh, you you meet uh, celebrities from across the globe. If you work for great hotels, and I work for some great hotels, and they were always a second home for a lot of celebrities. And uh, if you ask about my my celebrity moment, I've had two such moments where I walked the red carpet. Is the recognition in the hotel industry. One was at the Taj when I got the Tabe, and the second was very recent when I was recognized as, as one of the top most uh, icons of the industry in one of the award ceremonies in uh, in Mumbai. So I feel, I think, uh, I would call that my celebrity moment, but yes, it's always, even today, I get uh, quite excited to welcome and receive uh, dignitaries, commercially important people, celebrities. And I think this excitement keeps us going, and uh, and we feel we are we are, we are very close to them. Um, so I think it's it's a great part of our industry. So a little while earlier we talked about the challenges of human resource. We don't have enough at the moment. I mean, what is the message you would give to young people that why don't they enter the hospitality tourism industry? I mean, is there something you'd like to tell them? Okay. Very first thing that I would like to uh, tell the youth: this is a very rewarding industry. Uh, it uh, gives you a lot of opportunity of growth. Uh, you learn on the job. Uh, even the hotels invest in you uh, to uh, groom you uh, academically or professionally. So there's a lot of training that is imparted by the hotel uh, once you join the industry to get you to the level uh, which could be a general manager or even beyond. So we as a hotel take interest in development of uh, uh, careers, we, we develop people. So we have a very robust l and department. So it's, if you have a passion to serve, if you have a smile on your face and you want to be the front of the house, rest, we do it for you. Uh, so, uh, and the rewards are, are exponential. Uh, it comes in terms of uh, travel, in terms of exposure, in terms of good salary, in terms of good living. So I would I would say this is the best choice that I've made in my career. And I would like everyone to make a choice uh, that would be good for them. And as a last question, sir, it's a little personal. How do you feel about taking on the new role to come to Nepal? I think it's your first posting in Nepal. On a personal level, what does it feel like to be in Nepal? Why would you choose to come into Nepal? I've been very... Um, Mobile, you know, I've been moving uh, cities, destinations. I've done North, West and South in India. I've done many hotels. I've done remote locations. Coming to Nepal was very exciting. I've always heard of Mount Everest and the architect of Nepal. I've read about it. I've been seeing pictures of Nepal and really fascinated me because it's a beautiful country first. Second, Solti has been a hotel that I've been... Uh, Hearing about it from the time I graduated, uh, an Indian group used to manage this hotel before. Uh, we are part of our boys. And uh, so, Solti has always been uh, a name that resonates with luxury in Kathmandu. And to associate myself with this hotel chain is a, is a, is a proud moment for me. So, coming to Nepal, uh, so people are looking for, for, uh, uh, traveling to offbeat destinations. And uh, Nepal has got a lot of countryside which is unexplored. So, uh, so I'm very excited uh, to be here and I want to travel across Nepal. I know there are fam popular cities, but I want to do some offbeat trekking. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think I'll do the base camp all the time. But I want to do some camping, trekking. So Nepal got everything that has to offer. And this hotel, I think we have a vision for this hotel. Uh, we want this hotel uh, to be a perfect blend of Nepalese culture and luxury that we could offer to our guests. So thank you so much, sir, for joining us today and sharing your impressions and having us at the hotel. Thank you and see you soon. Thank you very much. I think it was a pleasure talking to you. Um, thanks a lot. Thank you.